Drag to me is an extension of my queerness, especially in the ways that I get to amp my personality and my interest and shove it in people's faces a little bit. Usually out of drag, I'm quite introverted and a bit socially awkward. But when I'm in drag, I feel a lot more comfortable being in social spaces. Part of my co-papa as a performance and visual artist is representing and championing autism excellence or takatapui excellence or non-binary excellence. Even just being in those spaces is just an act of resilience. Kia ora, my name is Peter P. Um, I also go by Misty Frequency. I'm an autistic visual and performance artist based in Tamaki Makoto, Takatapui, and non binary, and my pronouns are they, them, she, her, in and out of drag. I think people would describe me as creative. It's kind of one of the things that I think comes with my autism. People would describe Misty Frequency as pretty much the same. Just about like that much makeup caked on my face. <laughs> I identify as Takatapui, which in modern terms is someone of Māori descent who comes under the LGBTQIA plus umbrella. I live with ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder. Growing up, I was quite behind. I didn't really know how to interact with people. I found it hard to make friends, and then I kind of turned into a bit of a wallflower. Thankfully, with drag, I'm able to, like, break out of that mould that I've been in most of my childhood. Obsessiveness plays a big factor, and that's definitely how it feels for me with drag. It usually takes me about three or four hours to get ready, just because I'm so detail-orientated. I'm inspired by wood carvings in the, the marae, especially, like, the the eyes and the lips. It's kind of a visual connection to my tipuna, to my ancestors, to te ao Māori. My colour palette and everything I do is black, white and red. Growing up, they were my favourite colours, but it wasn't until I started learning about tēnō ranga tanga, and I was like, oh, wow, well, um, maybe these are my favourite colours for a reason. And then my autistic brain became obsessed and like everything is pretty red, black and white. <laughs> Today I will be having a full dress rehearsal for an upcoming show. I'll be focusing on lip syncing and movement. Draggles is a monthly drag competition. There's a $500 grand prize, which I really want. So this will be the first drag um, competition that I've ever entered. My first ever drag was. So I'm quite nervous, but also excited. In terms of movement, I'm not a choreographed dance routine. I like to just move however the song allows me to. Masking is a term for people on the spectrum that hide their symptoms or like try and filter themselves to fit into a neurotypical world. I was actually talking to a friend about it recently and he said something about how doing drag is like a form of masking, but in the opposite way, instead of trying to hide myself, I'm trying to show myself off. To be visible looking like this, the way Misty does, it's quite terrifying but also liberating at the same time. I think of this as an extension of myself through my neurodivergence, thinking outside the box, pushing boundaries and getting reactions from the general public. For as long as I've lived in Tamaki, Karangahapia Road's always been like a queer haven. I feel much more comfortable walking down that street in full drag than I would any other. Which is probably good that most of the queer venues are on that street. 
Most of the clubs or queer spaces on K Road aren't really accessible, especially for people with physical disabilities. I think most of them are like downstairs or upstairs, so not a lot of people can go up and down them. So one thing that's common with living on the spectrum is sensory overload, which I get quite often performing, especially in bars and gay clubs. What usually helps me is that I'm in quite an energetic, happy mood. Also alcohol helps <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Tonight we're out here at Phoenix Cabaret on Karangahapi Road. My first ever drag wall is exciting. At the moment it's a bit sensory overload, but once the show starts, I think it'll be a lot better just because I'll be focusing on my performance. Nervous, yes. Excited, yes. All the emotions, really. This drag artist actually is a conceptual, fabulous artist that is about to wow you, all right? Please give it up for Misty Frequency! One of the big reasons I do what I do is I just want to be there the inspiration to someone that I wish I had growing up. You know, someone who's disabled, who's indigenous, who's a person of colour, who's also queer, who's also creative, etc. I think a statement I want to make is that I'm a good drag artist. <laughs> Only one drag performer is going to walk away not a loser. Drum roll, please! So I just won Drag Wars for April. I feel really fucking good. Um, I don't know, I'm, it's kind of hard to put everything into words, but I feel great. <laughs> I want there to be more support for disabled people. We, we tend to get swept under the rug. I guess I just want people to know that we're here, we exist and we should be taken into account in quest spaces. <laughs> <laughs>